is a realtor only opens a door, right? I mean, that's all we do is just open a door, show you around, and then lock it back up. Well, that may be what some agents do, but I want to give you some handholds because as a buyer, the data backs this up. All realtors, they're not the same. And as you begin this process, you're going to want someone who's very good at their job standing as a guide for you. So with that, as you're interviewing agents, let me just give you a few questions that you should be asking. How many transactions similar to mine have you closed in the past six months? Number two, what are typical price points that you find yourself working in? And equally, are you familiar with the area that we are looking to buy inside of? Number three, do you have a list of lenders that you've had a great experience with, that they are on time, they're competitive, and frankly, they're just fun to be around. They make the process fun. Number four, how many clients have you worked with in the past 12 months who are in a similar situation to ours that are maybe downsizing, upsizing, looking for a particular school, or have the same nuances that we are looking for? Number five, can you provide me just a quick list of some references of past clients that I can talk to? Number six, is there any scenario where I, as the buyer, would be financially responsible for compensating a portion of your pay at closing? Number seven, what type of communication are you comfortable with? Is it email, text message, phone call? And are you willing to meet me within my style of communication? And number eight, in general, what do you feel like sets you apart from the myriad of other realtors who are doing business in Metro Atlanta. So this is just a few questions. This is a few questions I think that are worthy of you asking as you decide who are you going to partner with and who are you going to allow to guide you in the process.